I was thinking about how family members, like, you know, think that just because someone gave birth to you, that that gives them automatic access to your life forever. Forever automatic access. You don't have a choice. That is your parent type of shit. That is some entitled bullshit. I think. Because speaking as a parent, I cannot see myself thinking of my kids in, in, in that way. That I am entitled to their presence in my life for the rest of my life because I gave birth to them because they're mine. They're my children. So they owe me. They owe me their presence forever. They always have to be in relationship with me. They can never choose to part from me because I'm their mother. How creepy does that sound? That is pretty creepy, actually. <clears throat> these people, these enablers of the narcissist, because, because they never chose to separate from the narcissist themselves. So they choose the other way. They choose to enable the narcissist. And then they enable you to enable the narcissist. To be like, oh, you know, like I think grandparents have a tendency to do this. Oh, I'll call your mother. Do, 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 do. Why don't you call your mom? See, they feel bad about the beast that they bore into the world. <laughs> They're like, oh my God. My narcissistic daughter, she feels awful that her daughter isn't calling her. And so the narcissist will make other people feel like they need to do something about the situation. Covert narcissists can do this too. Um, what I find that covert narcissists can do if they're miserable is they can be so miserable, so miserable, so self-destructive. That the empathic people or person around them that is also like a, you know, Dr. Romani would call like a Pollyanna enabler. They just can't bear to see this covert narcissist suffering so much and in so much self-misery. They have to help this person solve their problem. And that's exactly what the narcissist, covert narcissist wants you to do. They want you to bear the weight of their problem they want you to solve it they want to place that blame right they want to scapegoat that shit somewhere else because they just cannot bear it they're so they're in so much misery they have to put it on somebody else they need somebody else to come and and they need to put it on them to do something about it so yeah yeah man i think grandparents are guilty for this type of thing so essentially what I'm saying is to wrap up this video is just because you're a parent to someone else does not guarantee you access to them for the rest of your life I don't think that that's realistic now if the person wants to if there's a healthy bond and a healthy relationship there of course there's nothing wrong with that there's consent right? Consent. Let's, as parents, not forget that when kids get older, they get, to, they get to choose. They get to make a choice. They get to consent to whether they want to continue to know you or they don't. I, that's what I think. So, and again, that's a scary idea for the narcissist. That's vulnerable. <clears throat> they can't dominate in that in that context they can't dominate you know anyways i'm kind of rambling now bye